Hey folks, Scott from IT Rockstars here. Hope you're having a good day. Um, in today's video, um, we've got something rather special. I'm going to be telling you all about what the ideal um, client is for a managed service provider or an IT business. Now, if you already run an IT business um, or an MSP, you probably already have a good idea of this um, already, who this the type of ideal client is. But I'm going to actually show you on paper the types of businesses and the types of industries that work really well with managed service providers. You may be aware of them already. There might be some that you're not aware of. So this video will hopefully have some value. Now, the whole point of, um, about showing you all, all of these ideal industries is to get you thinking about your IT marketing um, and basically basing your marketing for these types of companies um, and then how, how you're going to attract these types of these com types of companies, excuse me, um, to your business. Um, and the way that I've done this um, myself is via LinkedIn, that's the main method for it. Is So once you've identified the types of industries that you wanna work with, the types of businesses that you wanna work with, it's actually going and looking in the local area and looking at like, for example, all of the accountants that ha are a particular size in your local area and then finding out that decision maker. Now, usually the decision maker when it comes to IT services, MSP, that type of thing, it is usually um, the person in charge, it's usually the business owner if it's a smaller business. Um, it can sometimes be the uh, financial director, usually IT sometimes falls towards them, um, and then occasionally it can be the office manager as well. They're usually the, the, the main ones that this, um, that this works for um, in regards to finding the, the decision maker. So once you've obviously, you've, uh, you've got a list of industries, you can go into LinkedIn, connect with these decision makers, and then you can start um, marketing to them. And that's, that's why you're watching this video actually. And that's how I've done done this with you you guys um, as I've connected with you on LinkedIn or on Facebook or somewhere like that um, and now I'm showing you my marketing material and what we do at IT Rockstars is we produce content marketing materials for IT companies so you can use our white label content on your LinkedIn network um, and it goes out there and you start to attract in those contacts and those leads. We'll tell you a little bit about that later on. Anyway, on to the actual ideal clients that an MSP works for. Now this is an old slide that I've done, but this still rings true today. And um, this slide's about three years old now. Um, it was for a BNI um, talk that I did about my business at the time. Um, and this was basically, it was actually the ideal referral. That was the title of it. But I put, I've split it up into industry. Um, and the, the sort of, uh, the hot ones, I would say are this middle column here. So the middle column I find are the best types of um, industries to work with if you're a managed service provider. Solicitors, accountants, state agents, recruitment agencies, they're all great. The web digital agencies, maybe not so much. They're usually a bit penny pinchers, but usually solicitors or lawyers um, from the US audience and accountants, they're usually great ones to work with in the same way recruitment agents as well. So they are the sort of the top of my pick. The ones on either side, um, you've got things like food supply. Um, so that is basically companies that supply local restaurants within an area, they usually have a, quite a big admin burden. Um, they're usually quite a good one to go after as well. Waste and scrap, there's a lot of money in waste and scrap, um, believe it or not, and it's one of those evergreen niches that's never gonna die away um, because people are always gonna to have to have, um, you know, there's always gonna be waste disposable and that type of thing. So you're always gonna have that type of business. Um, healthcare. One that I haven't personally um, had any experience of. I know my US clients have a lot of experience with this type of one, but it's one that I personally haven't had no experience of, so I can't really comment on it. Same with transport and funeral homes. I haven't personally had any experience with them. Um, I'm really in this middle column, the professional services. I have heard though funeral homes are actually really good and you can you can charge sort of quite, quite high for funeral homes. Um, but again, I don't have any experience of them. And then you've got on the, the right hand side here, um, some of the other ones that I've experienced. So housing associations here in the UK, um, that tends to be quite a good one. They're usually quite high profile. And um, builders in construction, they can actually, they're, you know, you've got a lot of things like mobile device management for builders in construction, that type of thing. I mean, there's third sector organizations. And I would say the thing with third sector organizations or nonprofits, it's of a particular sort of size of company. You don't want to be going after a small nonprofit. Um, or third sector organization, you want to be going, going after a quite a sizable one. And that brings us on to the next point, the actual size of these types of companies that are in your local area. You, I really want to, you know, I'm maybe already telling you stuff that you already know, or maybe I'm just pointing out something 
common that you already know, but it's certainly something that when I started doing sales, I needed to figure this out. Um, so the ideal client size, now I have here five to 50. Um, I would actually say it's more like 10. So this, the, the small clients tend to be a lot of work for, little, for very little return. Um, and I found that if there's an office of, if it's got at least 10 office employees in it, it's usually worth the hassle. Um, I would say actually probably a little bit bigger than that. But anything under 10 just really is not worth the hassle. They usually take up more time. They've got limited budget. And yeah, I just I try and avoid them when I can. And then another side of it, you've got the sort of larger ones. You go up to about 50 head count. And that's usually when there's already an IT resource in-house. Now, you can still partner with companies of that size or larger and um, partner with that actual IT resource and, you know, help support them and what they're doing provide holiday cover or just provide, you know, your solutions to, to them, you know. Um, but the ideal size for the fully sort of managed service um, where you're taking full control of the technology in the business, I would say is between 10 and 50 headcount. So that's the, that's the ideal client. So what you have to do now, basically, is you have to go onto LinkedIn um, and then find out all these types of companies locally. I wouldn't start with them all. I would start with maybe the professional services. They're the ones that I like. Um, and then find out maybe who uh, who in your uh, contact sphere has um, relationships already with these types of people and the decision makers. Um, or you could do it the, the way that I've done it, and that is actually connect just directly on LinkedIn um, with the decision makers. Um, and I don't, when I connect, I don't actually message them with any information. I just connect. But then I'll start posting content um, on my LinkedIn that is going to attract them to me. And that's what I've done with you guys. That's why you're watching this. And that's what we do at IT Rockstars. As I say, if you, if you are interested in our service at IT Rockstars, check it out. We do have a January special um, on, on the site at the moment. We, we help you market your IT business. That's what we do. We provide you with white label content that you can put out there onto your social networks that will attract the ideal customer to you. Anyway, in the, tomorrow's video, I'm going to actually show you um, what... Um, actually, no, tomorrow we've got, a, we've got an interview tomorrow. It's going to be live on Facebook. If you haven't followed IT Rockstars on Facebook, do so. And we're going to be doing a live interview with, uh, with um, I think it's Kyle Heath of Kimberly IT. Um, he, he does a lot of LinkedIn videos. So we're going to get, um, we're going to get some uh, info on in his LinkedIn videos, see how he does that. Um, but on, the, on Tuesday's video for IT Rockstars, I'm going to show you the process that I go through on LinkedIn to connect with my ideal customer in this group, okay? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, you know what to do. Thanks guys, bye.